Hi, I'm Sean Arnold, and this is another brief, brave attempt in learning. Now that you kind of have a gist of the why, I think we can explore a little bit more of what Minecraft Education Edition really is beyond some fun game your students like to play. Let's get into it. So yeah, it's a place your students can build in and design meaningfully in a fun way. And of course, the best way to learn about Minecraft is to play it, maybe through the tutorial. But let's look at the structures that make Minecraft possible. So maybe you've heard of Minecraft or you've looked over a kid's shoulder while they were playing it. But what really is Minecraft? So Minecraft is an open world game where students create using blocks. Yes, the whole world is blocks, and it is an incredibly popular platform. In fact, it is the best-selling video game of all time. But it's also a creative space where educators can allow students an opportunity for discovery and autonomy. A few tips right off the bat. Be clear about your expectations for students. A lot of students will already be familiar with the game, but they need to know what your goal for them in it is. And don't be afraid if you're not very familiar with it. In fact, the platform itself will take care of that exploration. You just need to set those goals. And don't be surprised if students are incentivized to kind of blow past your rubric and defy all expectations because they want to do it on their own time. In case you're a noob though, let's get you familiar with some of the vocabulary you're going to need when discussing the Minecraft world. First, everything in the world is a block. The air is a block, the water is a block, every piece of land. Glass blocks are transparent, glowstone blocks emit light, and many blocks even ignore gravity. And all of those blocks are laid out in a grid, so if you're teaching geometry or graphing, it's right up your alley. And every Minecraft world you enter into is generated from a seed, and all worlds are different. You might have chosen a flat space for creating, Maybe you've got a land filled with beasts, or buildings, jungle forests, or ice castles. And it follows much in the vein of a normal world. Rivers flow, as does lava. Snow falls, as does rain, which helps your crops grow. Watch out for the lightning and the creepers. And those worlds are made up of a variety of biomes. Hey there, science teachers. Should we search the tundra or the grasslands to find a polar bear? How about cacao if I want to make some chocolate chip cookies? Where might I find that? There are over 70 biomes in Minecraft, and most are modeled after real world situations, though don't go searching for a nether dragon in reality. And just like in reality, you can't stop the inevitable passage of time. There is day and night, and even phases of the moon if you choose to look up. Things move a little more quickly though as the day lasts 20 minutes. 10 for day, 10 for night. And that includes dusk and dawn, where you can sit and enjoy a beautiful sunset. You enter Minecraft as a player in full control of the world around you. In fact, the sun literally revolves around you. Or at least where you choose to look. You can walk or run, swim or sneak around, build or break things. The default skins are Alex and Steve, but you can adjust your appearance if you wish. In the game, you can interact with other players, non-player characters, and creatures or mobs. These can be normal things like wolves, or cows, or villagers, or strange things like creepers, or mushrooms, which are an interesting fungal cow. And there are a few different game modes. The normal one is survival mode. In survival mode, your character can get injured, or get hungry, and you have to take care of those things. Also, your character needs to procure any materials they want to build with. Creative mode gives you a little more flexibility. You automatically start with any material you could possibly want to build with. You don't have to worry about getting hurt by anything. And you can fly, too. So if you want your students to inhabit an experience, you might want survival mode. If you just want to get them making something, creative mode is what you need. There are a couple other advanced things I want you to note, too. Griefing, if you're not familiar, is when some players are inclined to go against the grain, whether that's destroying another classmate's creation, or going their own way and ignoring the learning objectives. There are a variety of features that the Education Edition of Minecraft has built in to control those types of behaviors. We'll get into that in a future video. Students can even begin building some very advanced creations using something called redstone, which functions as in-game electricity. More on that later, too. The basics of the game, though, as easily determined by the name, are mining and crafting. Mining is basically breaking anything to get materials from the world. Mining is basically breaking anything to get materials from the world. And there is a wide array of materials available. In fact, with the new chemistry edition, you basically have everything in the periodic table and more. 
and crafting is just using those materials to put something together. That can be putting together some wooden sticks to make a pickaxe, or building a crafting table that allows for more complexity. The crafting table can be used to put together even more complex items. There's a nine slot grid that you can put materials in. Hey look, one log equals four wooden planks. Ratios, anybody? And then you can use those combinations to create other combinations. You can cook them up, make a wonderful recipe. But don't feel like you have to memorize any of this. There's a wonderful built-in game guide in the Education Edition. Now that you know why it's a meaningful learning game and what exactly it is, you can begin getting started with your students in the next video. Thanks so much for joining me, and if you found it helpful, like, subscribe, and check out any of the other Minecraft Education videos here. See ya!